Today is the fourth, and I just feel like speaking. A U.S. congressman say, said, Kai Mills, if you know something, say something. Make good trouble. I'm trying to make good trouble here. When Hubert Ingram could tell Kai Mills that he has advised Philip Brave Davis not to sell treasure key to the present owner. One man has been there for two years trying to help us. The question is, how much help has Hubert given us? How much money has he collected from Baker's Bay? How many white people out there had he made millionaires? Jeff Jones probably was a millionaire. You imagine a man like Jeff Jones in Baker's Bay that came here, befriended you, but, and he's made more money in Baker's Bay. I think the fella got about two or three hours in, in Baker's Bay. This, this is how ignorant Hubert Ingram those are. He brought the fella here, left him to work there illegally, and Jeff Jones got two or three houses. Ask Hubert Ingram how many houses he got in Baker's Bay. Amazingly, if you want to go to Baker's Bay, he have, he have to ask Jeff Jones. But Jeff Jones don't have to let him go to Baker's Bay. Because he already got his money from the sales of the property. Jeff, Jeff gave him that. You imagine a foreign fellow that has no work permit sending money to the Prime Minister of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. Now we got a project in Treasure Key. And Hubert Ingram is advising Philip Brave Davis not to sell to the owner because Hubert Ingram said so. This fella never cared for Abaco. I don't know why they love him so much. He has never. And I wish I had some fellas that had some internal for the deal, that had some cojones, some mandingo cojones like Kai Mills. We'll be so far ahead. Ask yourself, North Abaco, people in my age group, what has Hubert Ingram done? for North Abaco that you could make a comfortable living. Everybody just about from North Abaco is in some aspect of a government. You give them them, I call them dead end job. Immigration, customs, police, port, security. That's all they got for you. Them dead end job. And when you used to make money, Guess what he did? He put on a shift system. The shift system was not to create more jobs. The shift system was to stop you from making more money. Custom then was making a beautiful salary on the overtime. Ain't no money in customs. The overtime is where the money was. And you would knew that. And he shut it off. Only people that he has helped is the people with the other color. Um, people like Betsy, them, and those people up in Life with Key, uh, the Halavascos. Uh, you see them everywhere when the FNM comes up because they use the black Negroes to get what they want. It is evident one had $2 million. She had $2 million in her account by mistake. Well, that's a big mistake. She needs to get locked up. Uh, tell the court. Why this, why this woman is not before the courts? Who put it in your bank account? How you get it? Well, charge her. Let her explain it to the judge. She got white privilege. And the black government is so sad. I will have a conky Joe behind in jail. That's where she's supposed to be. You know what $2 million could do, to, do for the people that are living in the domes in Spring City? While they put them in the domes, she put the money in the bank. But you wouldn't say nothing about that. All he wanted to do would be a blocker. Did nothing to create millionaires. Ask yourself, 
Rich Millionaire was created on the Hubert Ingram. Next question. Did Hubert Ingram made millions while he was Prime Minister? Did his salary amount to the millions that he got? Did he put anybody else? We put him in a position to help him, but he helped himself. Uh, we still heard him. And he ran there with that old encyclopedia book trying to get more money. No money coming to Abaco. You think he would say uh, the sale of this book will go to build a house in Cooperstown or Murphy Town or Dundestown? I know you got some diehard supporters there. You think any proceeds from the book of the I mean what I say and I say what I mean? The title is a lie because he never mean what he say nor say what he mean. Absolutely a lie. I could prove it in the highest court. What I'm talking about, what if? Brave Davis listened to Hubert Ingram and the sale of Treasure Key don't go through. Does Hubert Ingram have another buyer? Certainly by now, that buyer should have been announced. Certainly. I, I, I don't understand government. And I ain't Tommy Tucker. I'm Kai Mills. If you have a buyer, the whole cabinet should have been in North Abaco looking at the projected hotels and what the man want to do. Why isn't this on the front burner? Remind, remind, remind y'all, the FNM did nothing for us. FNM walk away with not one single house. We got a buyer want to build two hotels. We build the dock so boats could come into Treasure Key like they are in Boat Harbor. Did the government go and see what's in Boat Harbor? That same amount of boat could be in Treasure Key. But you got to come and look at the project. You can't let Hubert Ingram, who said that no other government besides the PLP should run this country while he was the chairman of the Progressive Liberal Party, and he turned around, dogged his woman, and run for the FNM. That right there shows you that book is a lie. But we are looking and hoping for the New Day government to step in and seal this deal so that people of North Abaco will have an opportunity. All the Haitians, all the uh, Mexicans, all the people from Nassau, Freeport, everybody got an opportunity. They come in with a deal sealed. We don't even know what the deal is. Because the people that are working at these resorts, they're from Nassau, so they're bringing in their friends, their lovers, without even inviting Apico at the, at, the, at the plate. That's the same thing with Brent did. Mike that represent Brent. Brent pigmentation was right. He got what he wanted at the table. He's good, again, for the rest of his life. But what about the Negro man? Aren't you all tired of just accepting the crumbs off the ground? While the foreigners take out the millions and y'all can't figure out why our national debt can't be paid. Give the big jobs to your people. Stop bringing in foreigners to run this country. By now, immigration should deny work permit for any manager at the Great Abaco Beach Hotel. By now, they should deny any work permit at the Abaco Club. Deny any work permit at the Delphi Club. They got people from the Shell Island and Africa running the Delphi Club. They should deny anybody 
from running Baker's Bay. Man, these white people got y'all hook, line, and sinker right in the back of heaven. Big hook, just rip it to y'all. We are not progressing as a people if you don't put your people. You put all the foreigners and these are foreign whites, y'all put them all up front and they beating the blacks down because they see a government that don't care. Kai cares. We got to stop this, man. We're not growing as a country. We're regressing because we only count on election day. Kai counts every day.